Thank you, James, and you, thank you for your kind invitation. Uh, good afternoon. I'm going to talk about asymmetric autocatalysis and, and its application to the study on the origin of, of chirality. And this is just my opinion that two of the characteristic features of life is the one is the self replication. Uh, parents born, uh, parents bear babies or something like that. And also the component uh, highly enantial enriched to one, uh, one uh, enantial, we often call homochirality. And I'm going to talk about the reaction which satisfies the both, uh, both uh, characteristic features. The, uh, in my talk, uh, because the backgrounds of the audience is extremely large, wide, and in fact, I have several or more than several times experience to speak, uh, to present my results in such a, so origin of life or something. And uh, in my in the my nine uh, in the first nine slides, uh, this is uh, just to remind you the importance of the chirality, and especially for non-chemists, non-chemists. I believe so. Everyone learned organic chemistry in the undergraduate course, but you know. But but you, in my opinion, you some of them don't really understand. <laughs> understand. Uh, everyone know. Everyone knows that the amino acid of living creatures on Earth is so L-alanine, and also the sugars are uh, D, 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 and we know this one. And, and also other many biologically active compounds are highly enantially enriched uh, into one enantiomer. We often call this is homochirality. This is, and this is not just a phenomenon uh, of the life, but to, to understand the, the origin of homochirality is not the dead end branch of the origin of life. I think that this constitutes part of the Main, tra main trunk of the origin of life. life. Without, uh, without knowing the, the, how they become one enantiomer, we don't understand the origin of life. And this is just to remind you that carbon, as Jim uh, told, that carbon has four substituents, A, B, C, D. This is tetrahedra. Or, or, you know, but tetrahedra. And, when the sub four substituents A, B, C, D are different from each other, this is the image, and this one is its mirror image. They are not superimposable. You, you know this one. And uh, each are, in, in, in that case, each are enantiomer, enantiomer. And this one, this one, enantiomer. And in fact, uh, L-amino acid, this is natural amino acid, this has this shape. On the other hand, the amino acid, it's, it's mirror image. It's something like left hand and the right hand. It is okay, okay? And uh, something, eh? left hand, right hand. <laughs> Handedness. And this, let's think about the shaking hands. Uh, uh, we usually uh, uh, shake hands using right hand right hand, and uh, this is normal, normal. And when, when uh, one put to left and one put to right, uh, this is, well, uh, this, you, you easily understand, this one and this one are not the same. It, it's the called diastereomeric. <laughs> it's not the same. This is very, in, I think, one of the most important slides in my talk. In my talk, this one and this one is, uh, is not the same, different. And the same handedness is, uh, or hetero handedness, they are not the same. And in fact, uh, this is a dipeptide amino acid to alanine, L alanine and L alanine, alanine to alanine, L L. So the melting point to 97 degree. On the other hand, this one is the opposite, D alanine and L alanine, D L. This has different melting point, and also the alpha D value is different. They are not the same. Uh, this is chemically very different, uh, and 
uh, anyway, my, anyway, the bond is formed, but uh, I feel <laughs> some of the non-chemists uh, feel sort of vague concept that they are dipeptide, they are dipeptide, but they, they, work to, they work in the same way, but it's not, the, the, uh, as you know, the protein is, big, is formed from every, amino acid, but if the D amino acid is incorporated in random manner, their structure, conformation is, becomes very different and it doesn't work. And also the DNA, and the, uh, let's say the helix is the D deoxyribose. If the opposite energy, L, di, L deoxyribose is incorporated, so some helix cannot be formed. Life cannot be operated without the homochirality. And so uh, I talk, <laughs> this is the chemistry, I talk about the reaction. This one is um, aldehyde, CO double bond H, aldehyde. And the, this one is the metal and the alkyl, submethyl, ethyl, isopropyl. This uh, approaches from the right side, we call reface, and R2 and attacks here, and it, it forms bond here. And uh, this reaction produces the, this is a secondary alcohol with this configuration. On the other hand, the reagent attacks from the opposite side, and then it forms this one. And the product, this one and this one, they are mirror images, but uh, R1 is R, and R2 are different. Uh, they are enantiomers, enantiomers. And uh, without the intervention of any chiral factor, the probability between the uh, reface attack and C face attack is one to one. And, and, and the, the number of uh, molecules is very large, one to one attack. So that means that the ratio of the R1, well, we call D or L or also R1 S, is one to one ratio. And the, the number becomes very large large, when the number is very large, we call it one to one mixture. We, we often call it racemate. That's the normal, normal reaction, usual reaction. We cannot produce an ancho enriched uh, product without using uh, chiral factor. And I show the asymmetric autocatalysis. This is the reaction, very, very <laughs> Very unique reaction. That's the uh, product, chiral product, acts as a chiral catalyst for its own production, for its own production. That means the, the structure of the catalyst and the products are the same, and the process is the self-replication, auto-multiplication of chiral compound, chiral compound. But from the synthetic point of view, this has several advantages of uh, usual asymmetric catalyst. And uh, in 1995, we found this alkana. This is the pyrimidine ring, uh, benzene with uh, one, three, uh, two nitrogen atoms, one, one three, pyrimidine, uh, pyrimidine alkanol. And here, this is the asymmetric carbon atom. But I skip, I omit the one, hydrogen, but, but this is chiral, S configuration. Uh, this is isopropyl substituent. And this acts as an asymmetric autocatalyst to produce more of itself in the reaction between the pyrimidine, this is a five carbaldehyde, aldehyde, and this is isopropyl, isopropyl zinc, isopropyl zinc. As you see, this alcohol reacts with to form this one in the reaction flask, and it produces itself. And after working up, we got uh, more amount of the al alkanol, alkanol. And uh, more interestingly, during the reaction, the enantiomeric excess, the enantiomeric excess is the ratio, uh, difference of the ratio of the two enantiomers. Uh, 2% EE means the mixture of 51 to 49. The difference is two. Uh, when we use this uh, pyrimidine alkanol, the first reaction gave the 
product and also the initial catalyst, and the, we found the EE increased to 10%. 10% is 55 to 45. And then, again, we use this uh, alkanol as a next uh, estimate of catalyst from 10 to 57. 57, we repeated the reaction and it reached 88% EE. So you are in these consecutive asymmetry of catalysis, the amplification of EE from 2 to 88 was achieved. And this amplification is unique uh, in, in the point that the, we don't need any other chiral material. The, the, the origin is the original enantiomeric imbalance of the pyrimidyl alkanol. Arcano. That's the reason. And so we examined, the, we found the more efficient uh, pyrimidyl alkanol. This is a, with uh, triple bond at the second position, alkynyl substituent. When we start uh, from this one uh, with 0.00005% uh, extremely low enantiomeric excess, almost, almost racemate. And the first reaction gave the the product with the 57% uh, EE. So this means the tremendous amplification was achieved from the here to this one. And from the, by using this 57, the second run gave 99, and the third run gave greater than 99.5% EE. So during three consecutive asymmetry autocatalysis, the initial very slight uh, enriched S isomer has automatically by the factor of 630,000 times, and while the minor one is less than 1,000. So this reaction uh, pro proves me that there is an actual organic reaction in which the initial very small EE can be amplified by the mechanism of asymmetric autocatalysis. <laughs> and uh, let's imagine how small this one, this is a 5 million Yes, and 5 million R molecules, and the difference is only several. And this is very small EE. And then we use this uh, as the, the origin of chirality or, or home chirality of uh, amino acid and sugar or other uh, have been a very uh, it, interesting problem. And uh, there are several mechanisms proposed the circularly polarized light or quotes or et cetera. But however, usually these uh, proposed mechanisms can induce only very small, uh, very low enantiomeric excess. So the link between the high enantiomeric excess to, uh, it, it has been uh, missing. So we use this in our asymmetry autocatalysis uh, to try to combine. This one. The first one is a circularly polarized light. And uh, this is taken from this one. And in star formation region in Orion, the observation uh, revealed that uh, up to 16, 17, or 18% of light is, is circularly polarized light. Of course, that's, there is, this is the opposite chirality. And the in space, I'm not a specialist on astronomy, but, but in space was a, a lot of uh, light, and the light, when light reflect, reflects, it becomes polarized light. And when the substance is moving, a kind of circular polarization occurs like this. And uh, irradiation of left handed CPL at of 313 nanometer to racemic pyrimidyl alkanol. And then after that, the whole reaction was subjected to, subjected to asymmetry autocatalysis. We got S enantiomer. On the other hand, right, so, uh, irradiation of right CPL gave R. So LR, LR gave SR, SR. It is reproducible. And these EE can be amplified by further asymmetry autocatalysis to greater than 99.5. That means that. Uh, left-handed CPL gave the S pyrimidyl alkanol with very high E. On the other hand, right CPL gave R. And this is the first example of the correlation of the direction of uh, CPL and the highly enantio-enriched organic compound. 
like here. And rationalization of the result can be done as follows. The, this is the CD spectrum of uh, pyrimidyl alkanol. As we see, our pyrimidyl alkanol at 313 three nanometer uh, exhibits plus, but this is cotton effect, plus delta epsilon. This means our alkanol absorbs uh, left CPL preferentially uh, than our P CPL. This means the irradiation of left-handed CPL to racemic pyrimidyl alkanol. Our enantiomer is, uh, is decomposed prefer slightly preferentially. The, the rest of the more of the S enantiomer uh, increases later in by the mechanism of asymmetry or catalysis. And the, this is a, the, another example, the, the mineral, the quartz. Quartz is, as you know, this is a, uh, quartz is a single crystal of uh, silicon dioxide. The, it is known that the left quartz and the D quartz exist in nature. And in the presence of that D, let's say, if you see, see if D, left, left uh, quartz, the reaction between the pyrimidine carbaldehyde and diisopropyl zinc gave R, in, are pyramided alkanol with high e, L, LDD. Uh, in that, in each series, we use the exactly the same reaction equipment. And the again, SRR. So quotes can act as the, actually the chiral trigger of asymmetric autocatalysis, but we can uh, correlate the chirality of quotes at highly enriched enriched uh, alkanol. This is another example, Sinaba. HGS, mercury sulfate, red soft, uh, rather soft one. This has been used as the pigment of the stamp or some seed or something. And it, it, the structure is that this is a helix, uh, HGS, HGS. It, it is easily determined by X-ray. And in the presence of M crystal, uh, M crystal, uh, the reaction gave S alkanol, on the other hand, P crystal gave R. One more example is uh, gypsum. Gypsum is uh, uh, calcium sulfate dihydrate. Gypsum is not the chiral crystal, but it is known that the surface is chiral, enantiotopic. Surface is chiral. Surface, this is actually. Uh, and so when we cleave the the gypsum, so this part and this part, the, the, they become an anisotopic uh, phase. And on the zero and zero phase, the reaction uh, gave R pyrimidyl alkanol, and zero, one bar minus one, zero, gave the op opposite enantiomer. The gypsum also works as the chiral initiator in our reaction. And now, this is a uh, stable isotopes, uh, as you know, you know this, right? because the hydrogen and deuterium, and uh, this and the carbon 12 and carbon 13, and also nitrogen 14, 15, oxygen 16, 17, 18, right? then it is known. And uh, this is the uh, result of the carbon isotope chirality uh, compound. Uh, uh, this is the dimethyl phenyl methanol. Because that the two methyl groups are the same, this is a chiral, not chiral, a chiral. However, one of the carbon atom of methyl group is labeled with 13, carbon 13. This and this uh, becomes uh, carbon I isotopomer, isotopomer. This becomes chiral. But but the difference is very small, it's very small. Very small. But we pre prepared in this uh, way. And in the presence of the, let's say, R enantiomer, R alkanol, uh, the reaction gave the S pyrimidyl alkanol. On the other hand, S uh, carbon isotope uh, gave the R enantiomer. So the, uh, even the chiral, uh, compound due to the carbon-12 and carbon-13 uh, can act as the origin of chirality in asymmetric autocatalysis. Right? 
and this this is other uh, derivatives of carbon 12 and carbon 13. Okay. <coughs> and let me give you one more example. This is a nitrogen 14 and nitrogen 15. Uh, this is a diamine, but one of the nitrogen atoms is labeled with nitrogen 15, 15. And this is the opposite and, uh, diamine. And in the presence of uh, this one, it gave R enantiomer, R pyrimidyl alkanol, and this gave the S pyrimidyl alkanol. They even, uh, uh, even nitrogen, I suppose. Of course, I don't show that, but of course, hydrogen and deuterium chirality can act as the origin of, uh, uh, can trigger in this reaction. Uh, and yesterday, Jim took me to the lab tour of the LC, and I noticed there is a lab of the isotope. isotope. So, so in this case, chiral isotope is isotope in space. Probably no one has yet yet clarified yet. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's still interesting. And this one is another, this is the organic, chiral organic crystal uh, of a chiral organic compound. This is the cytosine. This is flat compound. It's not chiral. It doesn't have any asymmetric carbon atom. And uh, this is one of the nuclear base of the, the uh, one of the nuclear base, cytosine. And cytosine, the, it is no, it is crystallized from methanol. It forms chiral crystal. They work as chiral initiator in asymmetric autocatalysis. Also, it is known that when it is crystallized from water, it forms a chiral crystal as monohydrate. It's not chiral, cytosine monohydrate. And we found the crystal water can be easily removed. We put this, uh, this is the picture of monohydrate, a kind of monohydrate. Uh, this is a uh, parallelogram, the base. We put this, uh, we put uh, B1 phase, this one, on the plate, and we removed water, it formed a chiral crystal. On the other hand, from the opposite uh, direction, it formed the opposite uh, chiral crystal. And they work as chiral initiator in, in this asymmetric autocatalysis. And this one, <coughs> and finally, the, let me show you spontaneous absolute asymmetric synthesis. Uh, this is, I show in the beginning. Uh, uh, this aldehyde, uh, uh, aldehyde. So without the intervention of chiral uh, compound, the reaction gave one-to-one -one mixture. However, when the, the number of molecules is relatively small, the, the very uh, relatively small, the, the, the statistical uh, consideration uh, gives the, 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 let's say, for example, the 100 times of tossing coins. coins uh, this is, uh, of course, uh, 50 to 50 is the most probable, but the, the probability is only 0.08%. Other 92% is 51, 40, uh, 49, or uh, 80 to 20, or something. It, it, it is not exactly the same. So, uh, so the, in our reaction, the very small EE can be amplified. So we, we think, or we perform the reaction without adding any chiral material in the reaction. This means that just reaction between pyrimidine carbaldehyde and diisopropyl zinc without adding chiral substance. And then after that, uh, sometimes the S alkanol and sometimes R alkanol were observed. We applied patent many years ago, and also scientific paper came later. later. And this is the experimental result. That's the, uh, the formation of S enantioma in 51 times, and R enantioma in 49 Times so that's the uh, the the results uh, is stochastic stochastic stochastic. So this is the very very unique reaction that and unique reaction that uh, without adding chiral material, but but still in each reaction it goes 
S or R uh, with detectable enantiomeric excess in this case. And this one is a, uh, uh, in summary, the, this is a pyrimidine alkanol. Also, the related compound, kinolid alkanol, or, and also the pyridyl alkanol with the substituent at the five position, carbon, they work as asymmetric autocatalysis. Uh, this, one, uh, this one is very highly efficient. And the, uh, in this reaction, very low EE can be amplified uh, uh, during the reaction. And using this reaction, the several proposed mechanisms of the origin of chirality uh, can be examined. Quartz or sodium chlorate, I didn't speak about sodium chlorate, CPL, and also the uh, absolute asymmetric synthesis. Also, the chiral compound, a chiral organic crystal composed of a chiral organic compound. They work as chiral initiators. And uh, we made a collaboration with, with, uh, with other groups too. Well, I thank you very much. And thank you for your attention. Thank you. Thank you. That's all. Thank you. So I, I think we have time for, for many questions. Thank you for that talk. In, in what I would call the statistically induced chirality uh -huh. in, in the autocatalytic reactions or, or the ones you showed, um, eventually it has to average to zero an antimeric uh -huh. total, excess total. thermodynamically. Uh -huh. um, what are your thoughts about what's necessary to actually branch off into a truly a homochiral direction? Do you need then a, diastereomers um, that that then now lead you thermodynamically down a favored pathway or uh, because, because the, the enantiomers have exactly the same thermodynamics. Oh yes, sure. And, and so statistically, you know, you could have a ah, runner so reaction and one day get one, <laughs> the other day get the other, but what, what do you think uh, nature, well, led nature that, that to finally that, follow think, a path? Yeah, I think that is depending on the how many times did such reaction occur? If only one reaction occurs, that's either either S or R, A or T. And that's either how many times means if the number of reaction emergence, which of the of catalyst is is one or odd number, if three times is two to one, no, five times <laughs> three to two. The, 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 Nature doesn't, doesn't, it's not necessary for nature to repeat many times. But I mean, this is, the, if the number of, if, let's consider, if only once the reaction occur, if the reaction occur only once, only once in, in one, one batch. One batch. So yeah. that yeah. means that either S or R, this is also maybe possible. That too. Okay. Right, but but of course in nature it's happening all over the place, all over and the place. But uh, it's so not how? necessary to to uh, that the reaction run at once. If one if the certain place that it goes, it goes, it grows. Something must have happened to cause it one batch to suddenly amplify and take over. Mm, that's. Uh, I, it's, uh, yes, that's uh, the, the, I mean, as, uh, I tell, as you are organic chemistry, you know, in usual, in usual organic reaction, of course, we get to racemate. That means that at every many places, it goes to the, the statistical racemate. But the, as you say, in, in asymmetric autocatalysis, in one batch, it's sure that it, it goes either S or R. That means that kinetically, the first, first or something, uh, the kinetically occurred, the first occurred kinetically, it goes, it goes, it became predominant. Right, but that's because of diastereomeric. Yeah, no, right. no, it's no? not diastereomeric, it's enantiomeric, enantiomer, enantiomer. <laughs> oh, you mean, uh, sorry, uh, you mean, uh, 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 
Ja, professor som musik är expert. Ja, okay. ja, det, ju, det, är, det är som min gud. Det, eh, es en anchoma suppress the are en anchoma. That's a, a kind of, uh, a kind of uh, diatom, suppress. Suppress means that the reason that the EE amplifies is the mutual inhibition. inhibition. S and anchoma, of course, S and anchoma produces itself more of S, but also at the same time, the S and anchoma coordinates with the R. The, yes, the, you are correct, the, the S and the opposite and anchoma, and they don't work well. Yes, yes, it, uh, you are right, and it involves some diastomeric uh, uh, stage. Ne? That is the suppression of mm -hmm. the formation of other enantioma. In fact, I did, I, I have a slide, but I don't, the, 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 this is the, the crystal structure of pyramidal uh, alkanoid, the tetrameric, tetrameric, and, and also the Tetrameric, S tetrameric, but also the, we prepare the racemic tetrameric structure. And uh, the, the reactivity should, should not be the same, not mm -hmm. dia, diathermeric uh, ratio. Yes, the, uh, diathermer, diathermer uh, involving S and R uh, should be involved for the amplification of in E. That's it. Yeah, that's it. it it's okay. Yeah, we can talk some more. Uh, my, yeah. <laughs> Hold your L. Suck it down. Uh, yeah, so great talk. Um, I have a question. So you know, normally if you make a larger system out of smaller parts, the system, the larger system has a bulk property of its own chirality, and the smaller parts within the system also has its chirality. Yeah. Are these chiralities intrinsically connected, or are there systems where the bulk chirality is different from that of the smaller parts? Uh, bulk, uh -huh. For example, in a crystal. So you, you showed that an achiral molecule uh -huh. like cytosine can crystallize uh -huh. into a chiral yes. uh -huh. or an achiral crystal, uh -huh. but is it possible for a crystal or some other larger entity to exist which has a chirality that is different from what it's produced from? Like that is the opposite of from what it is produced from. Uh, the, for example, crystal chirality of cytosine, and do, do you mean the other chiral, other chiral source? Hmm? Oh, I, I mean, if you have a crystal yes. that is chiral in one way, oh, yes. is it possible that the smaller parts that make the crystal are the opposite handedness? <laughs> Oh, for yes, example, I for think example. it is possible, possible, but, but uh, the, probably as far as the cytosine is concerned, the, the majority of the chiral, major, major, major chirality uh, controls the enantio, uh, enantio, enantio selectivity of the product, primitive alkano. Is that your question? No? Oh. Is that your answer? No. You mean the, the, the crystal, uh, chiral crystal, and the small part is the different. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so in that case, in that case, which part is the more? Stereo? No, I mean, I mean. So, if you have a crystal of molecule, a crystal that's composed of molecule A, uh. and the crystal has uh. one chirality. Mm, yeah. Can molecule A have the opposite chirality, or must it be the same as what the crystal? Uh -huh. That is uh, probably it's possible to even the same A, same A uh, is one chirality on in other part. But the, we, we we usually think the single crystal is the, the same chirality, but very small part may be different. Hmm? Maybe different, but but I think the major, as far as the same compound such as cytosine is concerned, the major part, major, we can judge it by the CD spectrum, by the Q 
KBR disk. <laughs> this is a real death place. Okay. Oh. Oh. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, great talk, thanks very much. I'm now here, uh, LC, and I, I hope you will add me at the bottom of your collaboration uh, in, in the near future. Oh, yeah, because, thank you. Yeah, because I'm in charge of uh, isotopomers uh, in, uh, in the lab of Amelie's. And my question is, uh, uh, we are doing uh, a chylaric Kilal isotopomers mm -hmm. also, mm -hmm. and uh, like uh, alanine, uh, smallest, one of yes, the smallest the uh, amino acids. And my question is, uh, you, you said uh, uh, isotopic substitution may trigger the chylarity. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Uh, uh, the quite the yeah, the, big difference? I mean, the, 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 for example, the, uh, uh, actually, we made collaboration with uh, Sandra Pizzaredo, Arizona State University. She's okay. the specialist of the chirality of amino acids in mm. meteorite. Mm. And, and she told that the, the, con and how to say, content of D, uh, uh, ratio of D, deuterium and hydrogen, okay. D and H, mm -hmm. uh, con uh, content of meteorite is mm. much larger than, than that. Than, Terrestrial one. The D content is yes. Uh, this means the uh, Alani has a very small number, one, two, three, four, five hydrogen. Mm -hmm. And uh, when the when the D content is larger than some of the methylene, CH2, methylene is one of the uh, H, maybe D. Mm -hmm. So in that case, uh, in fact, we have published a paper that the chiral glycine, mm -hmm. glycine due to the Hydro-deuterium substitution of one of the mm -hmm. methylene group. Mm -hmm. They work as chiral initiator mm -hmm. in our reaction. Well, that, yeah, yeah that, maybe uh, bulk composition of the uh, isotopes may uh, affect. But my question is, uh, we are doing a position-specific isotope oh, yes, analysis, that's, that's, yeah. and the chiral part is uh, important. Yeah. Chiral part uh, isotope substitution is important or not? And, and uh, the reaction uh, uh, are you, uh, kinetic uh, You are talking about the rate. Uh, the chiral, anyway, anadine is the chiral compound. Yes. <laughs> In that case. The chiral uh, carbon uh, mm. uh, position is yeah. important the, or not? Uh, well, the, if you are dealing with the anadine, and the anadine is already chiral, so yes. this is very strong, strong means that this mm. is a stronger trigger, the chiral trigger. Regardless mm. of this isotope substitution. So maybe the uh, reaction rates are very much different. Uh, reaction rate, mm, uh -huh. well, this in this in mm. our reaction, the this is the chiral trigger is just trigger. Mm. It doesn't react. Okay. Uh, so the shape is the. Maybe uh, we talk a no, later and uh, uh, for further uh, coalition. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah.